now to the race for the 2020 12, uh, race for the White House. Twelve candidates face off in Ohio for the fourth Democratic presidential debate. Many attacking Senator Warren's policy positions with Joe Biden playing defense over questions about his son's foreign business activities. Jet 24 Action News is your local election headquarters. ABC's Rachel Scott reports. Overnight, Elizabeth Warren stood center stage rising in the polls and now under attack from her rivals. Senator Warren is, is more focused on being punitive or, or pitting some part of the country against the other. The Massachusetts senator also facing tough, unanswered questions about her health care plan. Will you raise taxes on the middle class for pay, to pay for it, yes or no? So I have made clear what my principles are here, and that is costs will go up for the wealthy and for big corporations, and for hardworking middle class families, costs will go down. A yes or no question that didn't get a yes or no answer. Look, this is why people here in the Midwest are so frustrated with Washington in general and Capitol Hill in particular. South Bend Mayor Pete That's Buttigieg and Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar pounced. At least Bernie's being honest here and saying how he's going to pay for this and that taxes are going to go up. And I'm sorry, Elizabeth, but you have not said that. And I think we owe it to the American people to tell them where we're going to send the invoice. Warren swiped back at the field on the issue of income inequality. My question is not not why do Bernie and I support a wealth tax, it's why is it does everyone else on this stage think it is more important to protect billionaires than it is to invest in an entire generation of Americans. Thank you, Senator Warren. I want to give a reality check here to Elizabeth because no one on this stage wants to protect billionaires, not even the billionaire wants to protect billionaires. Vice President Joe Biden trying to take back the spotlight and claim credit for helping her create an agency to crack down on banks after the financial crisis. I agreed with the great job she did and I went on the floor and got you votes. I got votes for that bill. I convinced people to vote for it. So let's get those things straight too. I am deeply grateful to President Obama who fought so hard to make sure that agency was passed into law. Biden also facing questions about his son Hunter's business dealings with Ukraine, which President Trump asked the Ukrainians to investigate despite no evidence of wrongdoing. My son did nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong. I carried out the policy of the United States government in rooting out corruption in in Ukraine. New Jersey Senator Cory Booker defending Biden, calling out the question. The second issue we cover on this stage is elevating a lie and attacking a statesman. That was so offensive. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders back on the campaign stage after a heart attack, reassuring voters he's got what it takes. We are going to be mounting a vigorous campaign all over this country. That is how I think I can reassure the American people. A moment of unity on the issue of impeachment. Trump is the most corrupt president in the history of this country. As a former prosecutor, I know a confession when I see it. He should be removed. The fiercest attacks of the night were reserved for President Trump and his recent move to withdraw all U.S. troops from northern Syria, leaving our Kurdish allies to fend for themselves against Turkey. This is shameful, shameful what this man has done. This is a crisis of Donald Trump's making and it is on a long list of crises of Donald Trump's making, and that's why do gotta go, and when I am commander-in-chief, we will stop this madness. You can follow all your election news on your Erie.com.